We think that the majority of our goal is to have a low self-esteem. So what do we do? We do self-esteem training. We look at these go, you too can be a better you. You too can stand up for yourself. You are wonderful. You have so many characteristics that I like. Blah, blah, blah. Instead, we need to be saying, okay, I'm going to be talking for the next three minutes. You're not allowed to say one word. In fact, I will tell you when you can talk, and I will tell you how many sentences you can use. We need to limit the number one skill, impulse control. We need to limit this bully from any freedoms. Dan Oveas says, the average bully, the typical bully has an average or higher self-esteem than his or her peers. We are missing some of these kids. Some of these kids charm you to death. You think they're so wonderful, they're so nice, and they're so helpful, and they're so cute, and they're so popular, and they're so smart, and they need the presence of the adult, and they cause hell. I mean, I mean, they are bringing havoc to their peers. We're missing the boat if we think that our kids have low self-esteem in our moments. Most victims of bullying are targeted because of outward or physical characteristics such as obesity, having red hair, dressing differently than peers, true or false? False. I said it earlier. Most victims of bullying are targeted because of what? It's a very They do not have a support system. They're your new kids. They're your kids that do not have a lot of friends. These are the kids that are being targeted. Okay, boys pick on others at random, true or false? False. <coughs> They're shopping for their victims. The last one, if a student is being bullied, Parents should encourage children to log the bullying behavior. Parents, if you're here tonight and your child is being bullied, you need to sit down with them, whether they're an elementary or a high school student, and help them log and keep a, what I call, build a case. Where did it happen? Who was there? What happened? Bullying behaviors, if the true definition of bullying it is that it's happening repeatedly, we need to be able to log a pattern of behavior. Okay, I want you to, I want you to see this quick video clip, and this is called Don't Laugh at Me. I love it. I show it to kids, I show it to staff, and I show it to parents. <laughs> 